MicroStation's integration with iTwin and the iModels provides real-time collaboration tools that allow team members to work simultaneously on projects, so collaborating at the same time in the same project. iTwin's data-centric structure enhances communication and helps to reduce the risk of errors during the design process. So we are hoping you know, at the start of a project it can be, it can help be used to reduce errors there, but then continuous and simultaneous collaboration through the rest of the project uh, all focused around this centric iTwin. Um, we want to we want to make sure we can get MicroStation and the design application to integrate with this, so you're, it can be useful at all the different stages uh, in, in a project. And as we mentioned, when we do have multiple people working in a project um, simultaneously, then version version control is vital. Um, we don't want people collaborating over each other. Um, uh, doubling up on work, creating more errors. So through uh, collaboration, we need to make sure we have version control in place, and that's what the iTwin can offer you out, out of the box. It also can do change tracking, um, where it allows you to see exactly the modifications that have been made to the project, and also uh, it's, you can get transparency and accountability about who's actually making those changes and why, uh, if they actually write a message. And then ensuring that everyone is on the correct version. So if you've just joined a project, you know you've got the most up-to-date information, you can bring that down, and you can use that to then carry on with your work. Okay, let's have a look then at this in action. So back in our example terminal here, we have our design engineer who's syncing data into an iModel. Uh, they then can view that iModel in this companion application and write a description of the changes and push that up to the cloud or to the iTwin. And then we have our structure engineer who is then going to be syncing as well to the same iModel. And you can see here then they can pull the changes from the first uh, uh, designer like so and they can appear down into the design application in seconds. He then checks his changes, uh, highlighted in orange here, writes a description and then pushes that up to the cloud iModel as well. Then we're back to the first designer, and again, they're going to pull those changes from the structural engineer. So we can see that in the design environment here. Um, quick switch to MicroStation, where it will update automatically. And you can see now that we have the structure and the design in one place. And then we can turn on, I think this was the roof um, in this example, sync those changes again, and push it back up to the cloud. Uh, in a number of seconds.